Hi, for this recording, I will show you how to do year 2009 MST question 5 part 3 part 4. Given the position vector of a point along the curve, RT is 3 cosine 2Ti plus 3 sine 2Tj plus 8T minus 4K. At the time, T equal to pi over 4, we are going to find out what is the principal unit normal vector. This is the vector n. Where, how do I find this n here? n is using, we can use this equation a equal a t, t plus a and n, where t is a unit tangent vector, and a t and a n computed from part 2, the formula. So let's go ahead to find this, but in order to do this, we need to find out what is t. Okay, we need to find out what is this, that this is a unit tangent vector. And according to Howard Anton, the unit tangent vector can be computed using the formula velocity over the modulus of velocity here. So let's go ahead and do the computation now. We have Position vector any time is 3 cosine 2 ti plus 3 sine 2 tj plus 8 t minus 4 k. At time t equal power 4, we have computed earlier. V is equal to minus 6 i plus 8 k. Acceleration is minus 12 j. And we are going to find using this formula. Acceleration is equal to a t, t plus a and n. And for earlier computation, we find that a t is equal to zero. And a n equal to 12 because a t is equal to v dot a over length of v. And a n is equal to v cross a over length of v. Right? The length of v cross a over length of v. You find out earlier. And then what is t now? So t in this case, unit tangent vector is velocity over the length of velocity, which is equal to minus 6i plus 8k and the length, over the length. All right, so you're going to do minus 6, 6i by 8k. So, a t is equal to, okay, minus 6i plus 8k over the length of minus 6i plus 8k which is equal to minus 6i plus 8k over 10. So this is equal to minus 0.6i plus 0.8k. Having known that, we are ready to compute what is the un principal unit normal now. So a is equal to a t t plus a n n. Our a earlier was minus 12 j. a t was 0, so we don't need to worry about is t now, although I computed t earlier. And a n, we have found out a n earlier was 12. So a n was 12 n. So comparing now, you'll find that minus 12j equal to 12n. So n was, is actually equal to minus j by comparison. This finished the part of, part 4 of this question.